breeding season is upon us and Isaac's time has come. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I don't know about where you guys are, but Oklahoma has been experiencing some amazing weather for early August, like highs in the like high 80s. It has been whew, amazing. The humidity have dropped a little bit, but anyways, it's time to get some uh, get some work done with the goats. Pretty simple project today. Breeding season is upon us, and Isaac's time has come. <laughs> I think so. I wasn't going to use Isaac as a breeding book again this year. He's just getting. I mean, Isaac's probably nine years old. He's my big Kiko buck with the giant horns. Um, wasn't going to use him this year, but I decided. We're not going to switch out bucks. Uh, I've got a couple of his daughters that are over on a lagoon at a at a friend's place, keeping that lagoon eaten down. And I don't have a big herd of does anymore. Oh, can you hear those babies? Uh, the does are off grazing right now. I'll call them up here in a little bit. But I've got to separate these. I've got two little buck kids in here with Isaac. Not little buck kids. This past seasons, and I don't want them to turn out because I don't want them breeding right now uh, one of them's gonna go I think to another farm pretty soon my father-in-law's got a friend looking for a Kiko buck and uh, I'm not sure about the other one but anyways we're gonna get in there separate Isaac from those two and then see if we can get the does to come in secret to a goat's heart is usually right there belly that's about all it'll take come on fellas you guys hungry this morning? That didn't take long. How's it? Hey. Got him. I'll just stay there for a little bit. All right, Isaac. Good news, buddy. So I was really planning on turning Isaac out August 1st. That would give us New Year's babies because goats gestation periods right at five months and uh, the earlier I can have babies born typically the better it is for us at least locally you can not have those crazy cold fronts like this year we were having babies born <laughs> we had babies born during that cold storm in February and uh, that was like incredibly crazy record-breaking cold for us for weeks but I had babies born in February some of them were born earlier some of them were in February and uh, I think we, we only lost one, so we did pretty good, but um, I want them born earlier because the goat market does a lot better early spring. So if I can get those kids up to 50 pounds earlier in the spring, they're going to do really, really well. And this year we sold goats at auction and got prices over $4 a pound. And uh, I had to sell some of those kids a little smaller than what I wanted, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I sold them when I did. Cause some of them were up to like 450 a pound and then within a month it dropped off to like three dollars a pound so if we were hung on to them and fed them longer to get them up to that 50 pounds we actually probably would have lost more money by doing that so i'm gonna see if old isaac's ready to get out of here he's uh like i said isaac's the old man of the bunch around here and i was gonna sell him this year actually i was gonna sell him in the auction Houston kind of talked me out of it. He really likes him. And uh, he, he is a really good buck. He's nice and calm. He he doesn't like to be touched and petted much, obviously. But his front legs, his front knees are getting arthritis in him pretty bad. So you may notice sometimes he kind of, he'll just be, like when he's eating or something, he'll be down on his front knees quite a bit. And uh, I think it's just arthritis. And like I said, he's he's reached, he's way past his prime. But he's such a pretty guy. I mean, look at those horns on him. Isaac, you ready to get out of here? 
So it's pretty easy for me to know when uh, breeding season is firing up around here. These does will start coming in season and they hang out on the fence next to that buck. And uh, you, can, you can tell when you pull up to our property that Isaac's in rut because that smell of a male goat, a billy goat, when they're ready to breed and their does are in heat, it is potent. Isaac, I opened the gate for you, buddy. Let's go find the girls. Well, you need to get out of the way. Come on, Isaac. I know the dogs are in your way, but I opened the gate. I'll have to get the girls over here closer, won't I? Come on, Isaac. Let's go. How about we call the girls to you? Come on. Come on. You girls, what are you girls doing? Lambert, I'm gonna need you to lead the charge. I'll let Isaac out. I need you to act like a big girl today, okay? Can you do that for me? Can you act like a big girl? Bear, what's up, buddy? Earl wants to say hi. Come on, girls, let's go. Come on, goats, let's go. Now, oh, look who decided to come join the party. I didn't even see you come out of the gate, old man. Yeah, they're all just out in the yard right now. They're not, they're not going far. Oh, told you. Isaac knows his job. Dogs, hey, we're trying to be serious right now. Bella, it's not, not playtime. It's not playtime, Bella. Glad you dogs go somewhere else to play. Bear, maybe Isaac wants a little privacy. You ever think about that? Hmm? Earl, you might want to get back, bro. Somebody like having a puppy around. See, you got Bear that's just the, the gentle giant. I'm telling you, I, I've never had a dog like Bear, especially a livestock guardian. He is the best livestock guardian dog I could have ever asked for. And uh, he's even a great pet. So many people say, don't ever pet your livestock guardian dogs. Well, with Bear, how could you not? He's just an incredible dog. And he knows his job and he knows what he's supposed to do, but he's also a family dog. And I like that. have to keep an eye on Lambert either uh, she may have a parasite or she got into something that did not agree with her tummy because uh, Lambert's a white goat and that's not a white behind bear but we'll keep an eye on her Lambert was a bottle baby she's never really filled out the way I wanted her to uh, she's getting there she's getting there but she's not gonna be a big frame big giant doe which which is fine I, I'm not that concerned about it but as you can see, we don't have near the goat herd we once had. I used to run 20, 25, sometimes 30 does, and uh, it just became, well, 
it, it gets a lot of work sometimes, but it came, became more of a hassle than what I wanted. I, we don't really need a huge goat herd. When I had 25 or 30, and when we had babies, that puts us up, you know, 50 head of goats. They do an incredible job of cleaning the underbrush and the timber and stuff. But we did that for, for years. We've had goats here for over 10 years and uh, they've done their job. And uh, I kind of want to move into some different livestock. Uh, you know, the kids have their show heifers back during the spring. We'll probably be getting some more show heifers in the next couple months, I would, I would guess. But, uh, you know, goats are cool, goats are fun, but I think it's just time that we kind of start evolving into other things. And that's, you know, the alpacas and the donkeys. We got, what, four alpacas and too many donkeys, which they're just for fun. They're just here because they're entertaining and my wife likes them. But uh, I don't know. We may, uh, we've been thinking about some other things. My wife really likes the idea of miniature cattle, like a low line Angus or a miniature Hereford or some kind of small cattle, just because we don't have a ton of grass. Uh, a lot of our a lot of our our hay fields are way off on the other side of the property. Most everything here close to the house is timber, and we like to keep them close to the house. And, and you know, it's just kind of is what it is. But the next step, probably this afternoon, we got a ball game to go to in a little bit. After this afternoon, I'll probably get the Kubota tractor out and do a little bit of uh, mowing. My pastures are are pretty grazed down. It's the heat of summer, and it's just you know, it, we, right now it's nice and cool. We've had a you know last week or so but it's been hot and dry for several weeks and as you can see the goats have pretty well grazed down all the grass whopper was in here you know for several months there's still a lot of grass underneath but it's time to knock down all of these weeds because i didn't spray any of this this year knock down all those weeds and hopefully we'll get start getting some some early fall showers we'll usually get quite a bit of rain in the fall here and knock the weeds down so that they don't go to seed and uh, help that grass grow, it'll look a lot better. Speaking of alpacas, this guy, I'm telling you what, we, you, you, you want an alarm system on a farm? Rufus is your man, huh Rufus? There is nothing that goes on around here that he misses. And yesterday, yesterday evening I got out here and I was trimming Isaac's hooves. He's getting old so he doesn't get around here as much. Kikos don't typically have hoof problems, but as Isaac's gotten older, he doesn't run around near as much and his front hooves get bad. And I caught him next to the fence. This guy, it's a good thing he was on the other side of the fence because he was stomping, snorting, screaming, spitting. He didn't know if I was attacking Isaac or if Isaac was attacking me, but he knew something wasn't normal and he was causing a ruckus. So anyways, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go to the house and go to the ball game and then probably this evening like i said do some mowing out here
the mowing's done, at least for now. Obviously, we got a lot more out there that could be done, but got the tractor all cleaned up, and uh, I think knocking those weeds down will really help that grass. If we can get a little bit of rain, it'll pop back up, and uh, this may look, I mean, this is nothing new. This is nothing like, ooh, mind-shattering, awesome idea, but Dusty's doing the same thing over with his bison, trying to figure out if he can get those bison to, to eat that Bermuda grass a little bit better. I don't have a lot of Bermuda grass here. There's some. Right now, everything's pretty much dried up and just turned into dust. It's crazy. We had like rain after rain after rain after rain. Most of the spring and summer in July hit, and it's like somebody went like, and turned the water off, and it's just been hot and dry. But uh, I have no idea where the goats are right now. They're off laid up somewhere resting in the shade, probably somewhere down by the creek where it's a little bit cooler. And uh, I don't blame them. I may go grab Houston and go jump in the creek myself because it's pretty warm and uh, mowing those weeds kills my allergies, but it's just part of it. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. We'll see if Isaac can uh, do his job one last time. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.